So we're at the end of your class. It's been exciting 16 weeks so far. Tell me about it. Has it been a beneficial to you? Have I helped you any? Did you learn something for the program? And would you recommend it to somebody else? That's probably going to dive into it. Okay, I might not answer them all in that order. <laughs> uh, I did learn a whole lot because, as you know, I didn't know anything when I started. Mm -hmm. As you also know, I have recommended it or whatever. And just in my enthusiasm, mm -hmm. I think it's encouraged other people to take yes, the yes, opportunity yes. because it is an excellent opportunity considering that here you can go for a lot less than where they will charge you much, much more. Much, much places. more. Um, as far as me, initially I was frustrated because, as you all know, if you've been following us, <laughs> I always had a problem with the stick. But as I started learning, like the flex, the mid, even ticking, which made me have to really slow down, I noticed that I've been able to do better on my other skills as well. And also, it assisted me with learning how to maneuver with my left hand. Because I kept trying to imitate your instructions with your right hand, mm -hmm. but it was a lot more difficult for me. For you, so yeah. when I applied it to my left hand, and I got a sense of how to use mm -hmm. it, then it's become a lot easier. It's Matter of fact, easier. we're almost close to the end, and I can say I'm doing better now than I have. <laughs> <in class. laughs> You're doing so real good. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um, as far as your instruction, uh, we listened to a video one time that said that when somebody knows something that you don't know, you need to pay attention. Believe that and follow that. <laughs> you heard what she said, didn't you? <laughs> because, yes, you have showed me some tricks and you've also corrected me that have been beneficial to me. That have helped you yes. and understand, like, yes. okay, I see why this was yes. called Yes, like now, even if I'm not a master welder, I can honestly say that I can look at welds. I can tell what's wrong with them. I can tell what they need to do if you need to slow down, if you need to change your angle. And this is something I had no idea of prior to now. You know what I mean? So that's, so that's that's a great benefit. Well, yes, it is because it gives me an opportunity. Let's just say that I didn't want to weld, but I can go into a company or whatever and be able to observe somebody that is welding and kind of give them supervision and what they need to do and not, what not to do to improve what they're doing. Exactly. You know what I mean? And then we had a tour one time where we went to monitor these individuals and they were actually dealing with the mechanics of it where they had the computers doing it. Mm -hmm. And just based on what I've acquired here, I'm able to, to do that, that. Exactly. engage that and know that I would be able to do that. And it's just a different form of welding. It's just a different form of welding. Yes. You're still welding. But you're not hands-on with it. The machine is actually doing it, but the machine don't know what you know. Exactly. Oh man, I need I need the proper stick out. I just ran out of gas. My aim was just left. Yes. The machine don't know, but you can look at it and say, okay, let me straighten that part up and let it keep doing what it's doing. Yes. So that, that, that opened up a whole nother trade for and you. And it comes from trial and error. If you don't put it into manifestation, you're not gonna know what you're able to do. Most definitely. You know, so I look forward to seeing more women in this trade. Most definitely. Um, Especially women of color and nothing personal, but I'm just putting it out there, whatever, because I've been doing some research and I find out that there's not many of us. No, it's, it's not an many. excellent opportunity. Uh, the resources that you can establish in these positions gives you an opportunity to create wealth for yourself. And I think more than anything, um, which I already had that mindset, but you have helped to instill it more is that yes, welding is a way that you can open doors that not only can you improve your situation, but you can improve your family situation. Your family situation. And that's critical now with all the political stuff that's going on as far as the cancellation of affirmative action, yeah. as far as the cancellation of being able to learn our history in their school systems. Yes, that's so the truth. So we that's need the truth. to really be focused on the fact that in the next couple of years, if you don't have degrees, a trade or a skill, then you will fall through the cracks. And it's gonna happen a lot more rapidly for a lot of people yes, it is. than people are even focusing. And you know what, uh, statistically right now, I believe the last one I, I looked at, it said that black Native Americans or African Americans make up about eight, close to 10% of the whole welded market. So that's very bad. Uh, you know, due to, we've been here for a while. Yes, <laughs> that's true. And, but you know, a lot of times when it comes to physical trades, we tend to look down on them, not knowing that the physical trades is what built America. This is the foundation, this is the backbone. It's actually that they're going through the reconstruction period now. You see them working on the bridges, they're putting up new buildings, they're going back fixing the infrastructure. So trades like welding, carpentry, plumbing, HVAC, uh, 
Electrical. Electrical. Yes. The, them the five. I call that the fist. Mm -hmm. That's the fist. Boy, if all of us got one of them, we can do anything. Because he is the key to that. And here's my logic behind it because I'm a little older, so I do know that when I was younger, I remember some of my relatives going to trade schools. But over time, they canceled that out. But the reason is because if you have access to all those trades, you can create your own, own community, wealth in your, your own, own community. nation, your own environment. And so some people look at it as a threat because if you go back and you research when we had access to these things, That's why they we stopped were separate it. and we were prospering. As a matter of fact, we were prospering than a lot of the people that we currently have to work for and work under. So it's a sign that lets you know that the first shall be last. And the last, last of the coming first. With that being said, we get the hog off. Let's go with me.